Om Namah Shivaya Bhavatu Kamawada Sabakta Om Shakti Ma Hail Mary full of grace we are all one Om Namah Shivaya 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 Welcome to the live stream <clears throat> Thanks for joining us on this Navratri celebration nine days of the goddess big portal to Divine Mother energies during this nine day period. Nine nights, really ten days. There's a hidden tenth day. <laughs> and of course, uh, every day is a good day to connect with the goddess. It's not limited to nine, ten days in October. This love, this joy, this grace can be embodied, connected with, dived into, surrendered to, any minute, any day, any week, any year. Nevertheless, the Vedic seers understood that this period would be an easier time to connect for most people, or more for people who were connected, a more intense period. And here we are. Navratri. So, here in the sadhana at Vamakali Ashram, we celebrate the goddess every day. We're a goddess ashram, or Kali temple. So, our uh, sadhana, our spiritual practice, is to connect with the goddess, so much so that we become one with the goddess. <laughs> mm. Thy will becomes my will, and my will becomes thy will. How to connect with the goddess. If you're down for, for that sadhana, <laughs> and not everyone is, and that's fine. But if you are, if you're interested in this path, path of the goddess, path of Kali, path of surrender, the joyful path, the loving path, Maha Kundalini Yoga, the great Kundalini Yoga, also called Mahasiddha Yoga, the great yoga of the Siddhas. If you are, check, want to check that out, well, you could do worse than these videos. <laughs> yeah. So Shakti Pat, Descent of Grace, has been around, you know, who knows how long, as long as there's been yoga. It was hidden, only given to advanced disciples in closeted ashrams and remote jungles and mountains, where they could be properly incubated <laughs> and properly trained before receiving this blessing. Well, in the modern world, we're a bit different. <laughs> mm. Baba Muktananda, over the shoulder, whose uh, constant presence is a source of inspiration and joy for us here. Astrally, he's left the body. He uh, was like the Johnny Appleseed or the Pod Piper or I don't know what of Shaktipat, and he traveled the world, I believe two world tours, and he had ashrams in India and Ganeshpuri, 
where I've been, it's a beautiful place. And also in South Fallsburg, New York, and also in Manhattan, across from where I grew up. <laughs> I had no idea. I was in a different, different um, operating system, headspace, <laughs> heart space back then. But literally, like I, I looked it up, it's right across the street from where I spent a couple years of my childhood, on the Upper West Side, 86th Street, to be exact, 140 Riverside Drive, and the Baba was across the street on 86th Street between Riverside and West End. How fun is that? <laughs> so he was spreading Shaktipat, no one really knew about that in the West. And it was the same time that the interest in these kind of things in the, in the West was percolating. So I believe Ram Das uh, also had a hand in bringing Uptanada to the West and bringing Shaktipat to the West. And uh, if you go on YouTube today, you can find lots of Shaktipat. Lots of people who offer Shaktipat, lots of... Uh, labels of Shaktipat, um, some more authentic than others, but is what it is, it's out there. And what is Shaktipat exactly? Shaktipat is the, it's really hard to use words, but if we're going to use words, <laughs> we're also going to have experiential time. It's ongoing, kind of in the background, for those who can feel, or the foreground, whatever, the ground, <laughs> the sky. So yeah, that's how it works. It's, uh, for whatever reason, Sri Kundalini, the great goddess, um, blesses certain places, people, to uh, spread her love and joy and awakening, Kundalini awakening. And why she does that and who she chooses, and uh, it's all her business. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the story is, actually. What matters is how you feel. Nothing matters but that. It doesn't matter if a uh, yogi has uh, an incredible lineage, you know, like some people are really obsessed with lineage. And they insist, you know, like the lineage. <laughs> but of course, whoever was the founder, the primogenitor of these sects had no lineage. <laughs> right? Or if they did, they broke away or whatever, you know, if they found something new. So lineage is, uh, is nice, you know, but uh, it's not everything. And often where there's lineage, there's a lot of um, distortion, a lot of politics, and um, problems can arise with lineage. So lineage is not really bound only to the physical plane. There's also subtle lineages. And of course, one has to be careful of that, claiming lineage where none exists. There are some um, quote-unquote non-dual teachers out there who claim certain lineage and um, yeah something ringing a little inauthentic about a lot of it but whatever doesn't really matter even if it does ring inauthentic uh, the proof of the, uh, the proof of the pudding is in the eating right so if you're having an incredible non-dual experience and uh, this being seems to be uh, uh, a part of that, setting the table, or guiding through that, or holding the space for that, or transmitting that. doesn't really matter what his lineage is, does it? <laughs> but if he can't do that, then lineage doesn't matter either, you know? So, same with Shaktipat. You know, you can, you can be blessed in, the, in a physical lineage to give Shaktipat, but if there's no Shaktipat being given, then what does it matter? In the same way, Shaktipat can be given without lineage, you know, like uh, even in Kashmir Shaivism, Avabhagupta, one of the favorite gurus of all um, Shaktipat intellectuals, um, acknowledged that uh, the, biggest, the best 
or the most powerful Shakti path is directly from the goddess herself. So in my journey, I received lots of Shakti paths. I received it from physical gurus. I received it from goddess Kali, from other aspects of uh, the goddess. So Kamakima and um, Durga and uh, other goddesses and uh, also from John the Baptist. <laughs> it's a cool story. I think I'll go into another time. But yeah, it's like that in the astral, you are astral subtle realms. You can also receive the blessings of angels or saints or uh, gurus or God's goddesses. And that's Shaktipat also. You can feel the grace uh, imbuing your field from their blessings. So what else is Shakti Padpatara? A, a blessing of love, a blessing of awakening, a blessing of um, uh, blessing you to reach your full potential, whatever that is. So one can receive, um, yeah, these blessings in the subtle realms as well. And one can have lineage in the subtle realms. Uh, you know, you don't want to get into a big debate with people about that. <laughs> it's your experience, but you know. So that's the important thing. And again, the proof in the put is in the pudding. So if uh, you feel you're in an astral lineage of a certain sect, and they're communicating with you and guiding you and working through you, then for, for you they are. And if people are also having that experience and interacting with those beings, uh, yeah. That's uh, nice for the mind to know, like uh, validation or confirmation. And so it works like that too. So there are lots of uh, beings, subtle beings, even we could say ma devotees, who uh, are working in the subtle planes to assist human beings to reach the next stage of their development, to the, reach their potential. How awesome is that? But don't take my word for it. <laughs> Better to have the actual experience and uh, not get bogged down in someone else's stories. Oma Jema Oma Jema Vama Om Shakti Shakti Devi Kundalini Om So Shakti Pad is a straight up blessing. You need not have done anything to deserve Shakti Pad. Likewise, if no matter what you've done in your life, what sin, quote unquote, you think you've committed, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All that matters in this environment is grace. Grace. And grace does what grace wants to do for grace's reasons. And let the grace flow. And everyone will get the exact perfect blessing for their spiritual development. There are no emergencies in grace. <laughs> so that's a big, um, a big difference between Shaktipat and many schools of yoga because we're in a surrendered, receptive state to receive this grace and uh, we're not doing intense physical yogic exercises like asana, pranayama, um, to move kundalini around or to awaken kundalini or etc. And um, well one is that this say school or style of yoga from my experience is much more efficient and less dangerous and less problematic than the willful path um, yeah, of intense yogic exercises. So that's not to say that it's, you know, 
hatha yoga is terrible and don't do it. No. If, if that's what attracts you, great. And for some people on their path, that's their path, right? And, uh, but this, we're, we're in the opposite side of the coin. We're um, surrendered into grace. Surrendering into grace, deeper and deeper. Oma. Bhava Tukama Wanda Sabakta. Om Shakti Ma. There is only grace. Oma JJ Ma. Bhakta A Om Shakti Ma. Hail Mary. Om Shakti Om. Om Ma. Om Shakti Shakti Ma. Bhakta Om Shakti Ma. Om There is only love. Bhakta Aum Shakti Ma. Bhava Tukha Ma Vadasa Bhakta. Om Ma Jema Kali. Kali Ma. Om Kreen Kali. Om Ma Jema Ma. Vama Kali Om. Bhakta A Om Shakti Ma Baba Tukha Ma Wada Sa Bhakta Om Shakti Ma Vama Kali Vama Shakti Vama 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 Om There is only love O oh, ma JJ ma O oh, ma J ma O oh, ma J ma O oh, ma Bhakta A Om Shakti ma Oh ma je je ma Oh ma je je ma Oh ma je ma Bhakta a om shakti ma There is only love One being one light one love I am Oh ma shri ma Bhakta a om shakti ma One being one light never far I am. Oh, ma JJ ma, vama kali. Vama kali. Bhakta Aum Shakti ma. Baba Tukha Ma Wada Sa Bhakta Om Ma JJ Ma There is only love One being, one light, one love I am Om Ma Shri Ma Va Ma Om Ma JJ Ma Bhakta Aum Shakti Ma Kama Devi Oh ma JJ ma va ma kali om bhakta om shakti ma om shri ma kama devi oh ma kama devi bhakta om shakti ma there is only grace, grace, grace. Oh.
Oh ma Gemma Kali Kali ma Kali ma Om ma je je ma Om Om ma je ma Vama Kali Vama Shakti Om ma Baba tu, Baba tu kama wada sabakta om shakti ma. There is only love. There is only love. Ma. There is only love. Oh ma je ma Oh ma je ma kali Bhakta a om shakti ma Kama devi Baba tu kama wada sa bhakta Om shakti ma Baba tu Kama wa Dasa Oh ma je ma kali There is only love 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 is real Love is real Love is real Vaika sikoto toya ki kama Kama na tayo sikoto toya ka Vama kali Kama naya katikoro koya ka Patata takta shakta ma Vama kali Oma, oma, oma Oma jema kali ma Oh, 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 Om Ajema Kali Om Shri Kama Satayo Sikuro Toya Ka Vikana Kara Soya Ka Marakata Te Hema Voikara Kato Soya Ka Bhakta Om Shakti Ma Hail Mary Full of Grace we are all one. Jema Vama Bhakta Aum Shakti Ma Vama Kali Oma JJ 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 Ma Om Ma J Ma Bhakta A Om Shakti Ma Hail Mary full of grace There is only love Va Ma Va Ma Vama Om Vama Om Baba 
Satu Kamawa Dasabhakta Om Shakti Ma There is only love I am 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 I am, I am, I am. Uh. When the I am arrives, the I am without attributes, the I am of consciousness celebrating its own existence, we can say, or itself, yeah, that's better. Consciousness celebrating itself, it feels like I am. Consciousness aware of itself. Consciousness celebrating itself. It's not a boring affair. It's a celebration. So the I am... Mm, it kind of sucks you in. And in this state of I am... Thoughts dissolve and healing at all sorts of levels takes place. In the Taoist practices, they do something similar where they're in a kind of cosmic womb, regenerating, rejuvenating. Here is the same, but we don't need to do any advanced Taoist practices. The Great Mother herself sucks us into the I Am. And in that state, the deepest healing possible happens at all sorts of levels that we can't even fathom until the mind clears. The mind's thoughts, its desires, its... Um, Plan. <laughs> yeah. It's not so compatible with the I am. So as I am moves to the forefront of your field and of your experiences, the intensity or the pull or even the frequency or the cadence or the amplitude of thoughts naturally dissolves. I am 
is the graveyard of the thoughts. Mm. I am. The I am is also inclusive as there is nothing that it, it is not. I am love. I am joy. I am embodied. I am God goddess. I am. I am with attribute and without and beyond all words and definitions. I am. 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 Oma JJ Ma Vama Kalyom Bhakta Om Shakti Ma Hail Mary, full of grace, we are all one. Something very embodied and juicy happens when the I am arrives. When the I am arrives, also the glory and the shine and the radiance arrive. Of course, they arrive in other moments too. For instance, I am love. But there's something special about the I am connecting with the white light that gives off a certain radiance and shine physically. For those with eyes to see, you will notice in these videos as the meditation and the offerings uh, progress, both each live stream and as a series, the radiance, the glory, the shine intensify. But not just over here, over there. Yeah. And as it amplifies over here, it amplifies over there. Because we are one. Is that enough of a because? <laughs> so when you're in this I am state, we can say, even in humming in the background while you're still involved in the world, other people who come in contact with you in the world, not in meditation, may also start to reflect this radiance. Yes, it's amazing. Even to be in contact for a moment, for some, with this radiance is a completely transformative experience. How beautiful is that? One light reminds the other light of its potential it's as simple as that. There is a reverberation, a resonance, a reflection, a stimulation, yeah, all what, whatever word you want to choose, that happens just upon contact and grace. So for some, grace is not uh, uh, aligned that day, and for others it is. But the more free, loving, and in I am, and I am love, you are in your sadhana, the more this radiance is reflected and celebrated both internally and externally. Om Namah Shivaya. And it's a lot of fun.
Om Ma, JJ Ma, Vama Kali Om, Bhakta A Om Shakti Ma, there is only love, 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 love. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. There is no destination as consciousness dances between different states. The I am, the I am love. The I am the Devi. I am Siva. I am Krishna. I am Hanuman. I am Kali. There is no contradiction. It is all consciousness, dancing, celebrating, enjoying. And the human being, the human being is an awesome portal, a portal for these frequencies and energies to dance and to play. I am. I am. I am. I am. Oh, my Jay, my own. Oh, my. Om Shakti Ma Jai Jai Ma 
Vama Kali Oh Majema O Majema Vama Kali O Majema O Majema Vama Kali Om Krim Kali Om Krim Kali Om Krim Kali Om Krim Kali We are one Vama Kali Vama Shakti Vama Devi Om JJ Ma Vama Kali Om Om Shri Kama Satayo Sikoro Toyaka Kama Devi Om Oh Maji Kali Kali Ma Oma Jema Bakta Om Shakti Ma Vama Kali Oma Shri Jai Jema Jai Jema Oh my day There is only love Oh my day my own There is only love Oh my day my own There is only love, one being, one light, I am. Oma Vama Kali. Kali Ma Shakti Ma Om Kring Kali. There is only love. Oma. Oma Jema. Oh 
Mama, mama, mama. J Ma. There is only love. Love in action. Love embodied. Love celebrating itself. Love is real. You are this love, transcendent and imminent, above, below, and beyond. You are one being, one light, always and forever, never born and never died. No thing, no one, nobody, only love. Jay Shakti. Oh ma je ma Oh ma je ma Va ma kali Va ma Bhakta Aum Shakti Ma. There is only love. Love is real. Mm. Oh Ma. Jai Jai Ma There is only love Oh Oh, oh, oh. oh Ma Jai Ma One being, one light, one love I am Neither here nor there Always one Oh Ma Jai Ma Vama There is only one I am before time and space. I am before the planets and the stars. I am. I am. I am beyond all concepts, all belief systems, all constructs, all scriptures. I am. I am, I am, I am. Mm. 
Yeah. We can say our tour guide, our mistress of ceremony. Mahadevi, the great goddess, the goddess of love. Kalima. Can you feel her presence? Can you feel the shift in awareness and consciousness just in this moment, in these moments? Moving to greater states of joy and love. Maybe you feel something in your heart chakra, a palpitation, a reverberation, a vibration, an expansion. It's the power of love. The I am is quiescent and blissful and peaceful. And then there's the power of love. And both, both are awesome. <laughs> I am love. I am love. In this school of yoga, we enjoy all states of consciousness. I am, without attributes, the transcendent I am, is equally as valid to I am, human being, multidimensional self, god, goddesses. Consciousness celebrating itself and all its variety, but still, I am. So one gets to enjoy the dancing states of consciousness at one moment transcendent, the next imminent, the next, you can't really put your finger on it, it's the two snakes dancing and playing, the masculine and the feminine, the I am and the I am love. Oh ma Shri ma Vama, oh ma Shri ma Vama, oh ma Shri ma Vama, oh ma Shri ma Vama. There is only love. And in this flow of consciousness, in this celebration, in this dance, God, goddess, God, goddesses, beings, mm, celebrate your blossoming into greater expansion of consciousness. In, the, in Tibet and, and certain forms of Buddhism, they call this deity yoga, invoking the deities and pleading with them to possess you so that you might be, become one of them. Deity yoga. There's a strong element of that here. The deities, the astral beings, the ascended masters, come and play and dance and sing and inhabit, embody just for a bit or maybe they stay longer and hang out with you and teach you and play with you and dance with you <laughs> and it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun when Vasuki Deva the king of the Nagas, the snake around Shiva's neck, comes to play. Vasuki has a certain frequency and a certain power and playfulness. And Vasuki can be here as well as Kali. There is no contradiction. All aspects and frequencies of consciousness, playing, dancing, and celebrating. And then when Vasuki comes, you may start seeing snakes in dreams. You may start seeing snakes in the 3D world, on the road. I remember once I was sitting in a chair after taking Kundalini Yoga 
And a snake literally like shot out from under my chair. A real snake, yeah. People were like, whoa, what's going on there? Another time I was on a Shaktipat retreat and I was walking and I almost stepped right on a snake. My friend was like, look out! There was a snake just crossed right in front of me on a Shaktipat retreat. It's uh, almost too perfect, though. <laughs> Many times in my journey, I had uh, snakes appear. Mm. I remember once I was uh, in Goa with a nice man called Ajit. And uh, he was taking me to a property and he wanted to show me uh, yeah, he wanted to show me this property. And a huge thick snake cruised by. <laughs> and he had never seen a snake that big before, and it was like he was flabbergasted. And uh, yeah, it's like that. Well, especially in India, they have lots of snakes there. Mm. So, uh, yeah, snakes in Kundalini. There's more than just the feeling of snake crawling up the spine although that can be part of it. There's so much more. One of the aspects of Devi is called Manasa Devi, Mansa Devi, and she's the snake goddess. There's Vasuki around Shiva's neck, so what is that? Mm, what is that? What message is that sending? Mm. They're closer than close. Basuki and Shiva. <laughs> Closer than close. And all through India they have Naga temples. So, temples to the snake deities. And it's not just male snake deities, they're also a female. Yakshi is the one we are in contact with here. Basuki and Yakshi. Mm male and female aspect as Naga. Mm. In some of the New Age uh, sharings, snakes get a bad name. <laughs> but in my experience, they're quite playful joyful and seeking your enlightenment, your highest potential. The snake is not just a metaphor for the Kundalini, but I'll let you uh, discover that or not for yourself. journey, I had this dream, and in the dream there was a giant snake, <laughs> four football fields long, I felt in the dream, and I was riding on the neck of this snake, and the snake was taking me to freedom, 
and between me and the head of the snake were blockages personified. And the snake just turned around and swallowed them up. And then we cruised off into the sunset. I woke up like, whoa, <laughs> that's auspicious. When you're in Kundalini Sadhana and you have a dream like that, that's auspicious. That's a good sign. Mm, the way of liberation. Kundalini, the snake, to freedom and expansion. Mm. And then there's Vasuki Bhav, Bhava, where these Naga deities can mm, make a visit in your body. <laughs> And you might find yourself hissing like a snake and slithering around the floor. And it's a lot of fun <laughs> to surrender into that, knowing that, wow, the Kundalini is really doing its thing. And you are being blessed, if you feel that you are, by these Naga beings. And it's great. Nothing to be scared about or concerned. It's a blessing. I think at most, most people who receive this blessing of the snake deities and of the Kundalini as snake realize it, feel it, know it as a blessing. Or it wouldn't be happening, really. They can receive, they're open to receive. And that's when it tends to happen, is to people who are open to receive. And if you have a lot of uh, ideological or belief system or blocks of any kind can prohibit this kind of um, celebration, but not forever. Things dissolve, things change. Blessings happen, grace flows. Mm -hmm. Om Ashrima Bhakta A Om Shakti Ma Hail Mary, full of grace. We are all one. We are all one. We are all one. So this body is capable of so much that we don't know. We all have this standard issue human body. You know, two elbows, <laughs> a heart. Everything is the same, right, in the human being, you know? We're, we're all ten toes, ten fingers, two hands. But what is the capacity of this human embodiment? Well, we're, we're still finding out, huh? <laughs> we can turn to sporting events, and we see that over time, the the proficiency in the sporting event, the prowess, gets stronger and stronger. You know, one, one point, a four-minute mile was a big thing now. Runners regularly break that. Or marathon times, or, yeah, just look at pro soccer players, football players, hockey players, basketball players. You know, they just get better and better and better. <laughs> So that just shows you, like, the potential of the human being is, is what is it, you know, just at that sports level, you can, you can see it for yourself. But also at a spiritual level, like, what is the potential? We read about different stories and myths and legends, and, and we kind of feel that there's a great spiritual potential Maybe if we're lucky enough, we've met some beings who have realized a great spiritual potential within themselves. So do you want to know? Do you want to know what your potential is? Do you want to know how much love you can embody? 
how psychic you can be, how much service you can be to the world, how much joy you can stand. Mm. Do you want to know what it's like to have thoughts dissolve? Do you want to know if your ego can also dissolve? What would that be like? And one is constantly challenged during the sadhana by this because you start to realize, wait a minute, I have a small attachment to thoughts. <laughs> I have a small attachment to my personality complex. Yeah, uh, I would just like my thoughts and ego to dissolve sometimes, but other times I kind of enjoy. And I guess that's why it still oscillates. So it doesn't have to be, uh, hmm. it's more like to observe where your resistances still lay. Like, is there some fear as the thoughts dissolve? Is there still some residual resistance? Some attachment to the ego? So this is a progressive path. You never get more than you can handle. And slowly, over time, consciousness expands. Impediments to the expansion of consciousness, samskara, vritti, vasanas, mental, emotional, physical blocks to the free flow of consciousness and love come up to be dissolved. And that's the spiritual practice, is celebrating being in the heart, being I am love, being I am surrender, joy, love, and let the grace flow, the love flow, and it wears down and breaks down the resistance, deep resistances in every aspect of your being. And the more we try to hang on to our favorite resistances, the more struggle we'll have. And the more we can let everything go, the less struggle we'll have. <laughs> so just by relaxing and enjoying and accepting and surrendering and letting go, this grace, this love will bring us closer to it. The distortions will dissolve. we will become love embodied, light embodied, our highest version, I am, I am, I am. Om Namah Shivaya, 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 Om Namah Shivaya. I am, I am, I am. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. I am. Thank you so much for joining today and sharing with us and celebrating with us. If you have any uh, experiences you'd like to share with me that experiences about these meditations, something that you feel mm, motivated to share with me, you can always write me. That's what I'm here for. If questions arise for you that you feel you cannot uh, answer and you'd like my uh, input, you can write me. I may not always respond to your messages, but I read them all. I only respond if I have the spontaneous or intuitive 
impulse to respond. But I don't feel any like uh, obligation to respond, and I don't want to respond out of obligation. So if the spirit moves, I respond. And if the spirit moves, you should write. And usually the spirit moves to read. If you're um, super aligned with what you've been experiencing in these videos, you can also contact me about going deeper, deeper into Kali's love, into this path, into the school of yoga, and we'll uh, we'll feel it out. Thank you so much for joining. Om Ma Jai Ma Vama, Bhakta Om Shakti Ma, Hail Mary, full of grace. We are all one. Om.